Finally, experts are predicting colon cancer may be a leading cause of cancer deaths among people under the age of 50 by the end of the decade. Researchers are trying to determine why the numbers are on the rise. Fox News senior correspondent Jonathan Surrey takes a look. As improved screening lowers colorectal cancer rates among older Americans, researchers are trying to figure out why rates have been increasing in adults under 50 by 1 to 2 percent per year since the mid-1990s. Whether that's, you know, diet and exercise, you know, in teenagers or young adults, it has to be something external to the patient because, you know, cancer genetics has not changed um, in the last 20 years. So something broadly environmental is probably driving these changes. Stacia Walker, whose colorectal cancer is now in remission, was diagnosed 10 years ago at the age of 24. I caught it early at stage 2A. I was able to fight. My, my age was on my side. Early detection is key. But doctors say far too many young adults wait until the cancer begins to spread and becomes much harder to treat. One of my um, more, most memorable patients was doing CrossFit three times a week. She was training for her marathon and she was having irregular bowel movements for nine months and her doctor thought there was no way she could have colorectal cancer. Routine colonoscopies can find and remove polyps years before they turn into cancer, but they're not recommended for most patients until the age of 45. So medical experts say it's important for younger people not to ignore any persistent gastrointestinal symptoms. Abdominal pain, rectal bleeding, weight loss, you know, things that um, could be early signs of colorectal cancer need to be taken seriously. And the same advice holds true for their doctors. I think that it's important with the new data coming out, with the increasing incidence of colorectal cancer in younger patients, that primary care physicians and gastroenterologists have a lower threshold to get these patients evaluated sooner. On a personal note, this story hits close to home for me. In summer of 2017, my younger brother, Keir, was diagnosed with colon cancer and died just a few months later. Our family had no prior history of colorectal cancer, and at the time, routine colonoscopies were not recommended until age 50. My brother was 48. In Atlanta, John Siri, Fox News.